Hi everyone, welcome back again. Let's have a look into the positions that we have. Uh, as we know from last uh, couple of weeks, I'm holding the monthly positions and uh, ratio spread, calendar spread, and I don't fly monthly, weekly, which is uh, made into zero so loss. So made some adjustments. So currently we have a minimum loss, uh, minimum profit of 41 locked to both the sides. And I also, uh, you know, moved the sell leg little away to have a range of 200 points for the maximum 1.04 lakhs. And uh, the capital which we are using is around 3 lakhs for this. I have not increased the capital because we just have base iron fly with which I am just adjusting the positions according to the market movements. As here we are using only 3 lakhs capital playing with only monthly. And uh, the remaining capital in uh, expiry days in fin nifty and uh, nifty once the bank nifty expiry starts on friday then we can also use that capital on expiry day strategies okay so here we lock the profit and using that capital for uh, expiry days 10 days to go for the you know monthly expiry let's see i'm taking risk of uh, 20000 and uh, the gain that i get is 40000 in this range if we get another 10000 in uh, remaining uh, 10 days it's going to be a good profit like close to three percent on the power capital used and also guys uh, there is a very low theta decay now because of the lowest weeks that we are having if the weeks goes high further i think you will have a very good profit with these strategies now we are struggling to get the profit because of the low theta get some minimum profit like three to four percent in these uh, low weeks conditions once the ivs goes high then uh, we will have a good profit so we need to be a little patient in that and uh, i'm also thinking to have uh, calendar spreads along with these monthly weekly so i'll create calendars double diagonal calendars instead of buying this monthly you know same month same calendar legs so i'm thinking to buy next calendar legs and uh, i'm also back testing that i'll update you guys once i get through some good adjustments in that i'm also planning to make a monthly weekly 2.0 strategy because there are some changes i would like to bring based on the weeks what we have currently and also some upgrade i would like to give you guys how to play in the expiry day and how to minimize the risk because uh, the strategy that i explained initially uh, is having little high risk but now i would like to reduce the risk further and uh, show you guys the safest strategy and uh, the target is uh, around seven percent okay i will also show the back testing in for one of the month maybe and we'll see the advanced adjustments there coming to the calendar spread here uh, i made a couple of adjustments i was i exited uh, initially i exited uh, one of the calendar leg and we just had this market was kept moving upside so what i did i had taken 18900 uh, you know calendar but the hedge if you see here uh, i have taken immediately next week because we just have uh, another 10 days i don't want to take the hedge uh, from the next month and because that will be high premium so for the premium that we are going to use here i think uh, the hedge for the within next week is also good enough if you see here 6th july and this is 29th let me unselect the other two and select everything and i'll just select only these two positions if you see here they are currently running at 3.875 i've taken this in the last friday i guess when the market was continuously moving up and uh, the VIX has increased today to some three percent five percent that's the reason we are getting some profit even though market is moving down and i don't want to take july end expire buy leg because the premium what i get here will not be like uh, matching to the monthly ones if it is beginning of the month we could have done similar to this what we have done probably once uh, this premium decays uh, to lower level like something like uh, 100 or something i will exit this monthly one and uh, come come to the 6th july immediately next week one so i will explain in detail in one of the videos uh, and these points they are very important points to increase the profit okay don't worry i'll explain in detail 
So currently this is how it's looking and we are running at 25,000 uh, because the VIX has gone high and we are uh, close to 3 plus percentage profit and that's a good profit we can also exit the positions but I'll try to hold every problem one, one more week and I'll explain what adjustments I made and why I made okay okay coming to ratio spread uh, we had exited a double ratio initially it was a double ratio spread we had exited one of the straddle so there was some mistake in the you know adjustments I could have made it uh, you know loss less uh, and uh, with the good profit within the range uh, in the straddle but uh, anyways now to the downside uh, if the market comes continues to move down we don't have any loss if the market expires somewhere in this uh, straddle we will have a good profit or if market continues to move up uh, we'll uh, bring an edge closer and make it lossless okay that is the idea currently now also i can make it lossless uh, let me show you how okay this currently we have a c edge at 19,000, right let me see how much premium i should pay and come closer to make it zero loss so if i exit now this leg so this is currently 6000 is locked to both the sides and we have a decent profit in the middle if market expires somewhere in this 200 or 300 points range say from 19,000 to 18,800 I will have a good profit but I would like to bring these legs little closer further and uh, I'll make it uh, you know much more better in the minimum side also but anyways uh, because the market is moving down I don't want to have this leg I'll roll back to original position okay let's continue this position if the market continues to move up to the somewhere in this range maybe I'll think of moving this edge closer and make it lossless probably we'll like, get this uh, you know call legs uh, in a cheaper price uh, as the time goes because of the theta effect so I'll upload these uh, playlist links in the description there are uh, some nice strategies and expiry day they have created recently they are very safe and good strategies for you know because we are going to have three expiry days in a week and if you learn these uh, one strategy because they are almost similar for bank nifty fin nifty and i'll also upload one more one more on uh, nifty and there are uh, strategies on calendar spreads also you can go through them i'll create some more uh, calendar spread strategies uh, for a very low risk and uh, decent profit but here they are little high risk here and a very good profit in just three days and we have monthly strategy for a low risk and good profit you can go through these uh, strategies if you want. okay don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching guys bye bye